Is that... Clown? Jester? You couldn't tell what he was exactly, but he was oddly very colorful. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir de Vite, and today I want to play the updated version of a game I've played before called... Eternal Dreamscape. Mysterious hand appears in your dreams. Excellent manicure, by the way. Beautiful dreamer. What's your name? Uh, I am Espoir. It means hope in French. My, my. Isn't it lovely? May I have it? <laughs> have it? Like, like introducing myself or like doing something weird and keeping my name? Sure, why not? <laughs> oh ho, oh, so, so bold. bold. You should, you be, should more be more careful, careful darling. darling. Something, Something so, so precious, precious could, be could be snatched, snatched away from you if you're, if you're always, always too kind. kind. But, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't mind, mind, would you? Would you? <laughs> <laughs> why the why crunchy, crunchy look? look? It's, it's only, only a teasing, teasing joke. joke. You have you no, no idea, idea how happy, happy this makes me. Don't worry, Don't worry darling. darling. I'll, be I'll be sure, sure to make, make your dream a wonderful experience. experience. Come, I have, I have so, many so many things planned for us. us. So many, so many wonderful, wonderful baked, baked treats, treats, games, games we, could we could play, and worries to forget. To forget. We're gonna have so, so much, much wonderful, wonderful fun. fun. <laughs> I even have a gift have a prepared gift just for you. you. It's, it's always, always fun, fun when we have guests here. It gets lonely with my only self. So, until then, my sweet darling, will you dream for me? Five stops before your destination. You took a breath as the pain flushed over your body as it involuntarily shakes. The sounds and movement of the bus made you feel nauseous. Hmm? Wait. Bus? Eh. Cool. Hmm. Are these cameos? Was that Jack? Sans? <gasps> Is that me? Is that me? Is that me? If it is, I'm very, very flattered. Thank you. Oh, is that Demon? Is that is that Candy Cane? And those that eye looks familiar, but I can't quite place it right now. Why are you even here in the first place? Before you could answer any further, your phone begins to vibrate as a map flashes on screen. The destination was mapped to your home address. Blankly staring at your phone, you started to piece everything slowly together. That's right. I'm headed home. You were relieved that you weren't in any danger, but your head began to throb, reminding you of another problem you had to deal with. With a frustrated groan, you dug into your backpack to find your painkillers before checking back to your phone. This wasn't the first time something like this happened. Mm -hmm. Lately, you've been falling asleep in public, causing way too much worry for your grandparents and friends. It's gotten to the point where they had to ask you to put a shared location up, just so they knew you were okay. Ah. You didn't understand or have any reason to find as to why you were suddenly a narcoleptic. Only thing you could excuse for this was the stress of university crawling under your spine. Could this be the product of a certain multicolored gesture with a super cool manicure? The amount of projects and the many assignments drowning your thoughts every day might have caused something. You tilted your head back and gulped down your painkillers as a small sigh leaves your lips before looking out the window. A blur of trees whizzes on by as the sun flashes in and out of sight through the silhouettes of the forest. It also didn't help that you lived in almost the middle of nowhere, either. The amount of times you got lost during your walks home because halfway you started to daydream. 
then suddenly stumbling and getting lost as you panic like a child that couldn't find their mom at the grocery store. Aww. Yeah, I guess fat lot of good a GPS does in the forest. If it wasn't for your phone and thankfully having some sort of service, you have probably might have died out here by now. Hopefully you'll find your way back home without little old Wonderland distracting you this time. Two more stops before your final destination. You tapped the screen as you pulled out your earbuds from your pocket, gently swiping through your liked playlist. No. Nope. I'm tired of that one. You kept swiping until finally... Oh. You couldn't remember why you had this song on your playlist, but you always found it somewhat comforting. It was calming and upbeat, yet it always felt like there was something sorrowful underneath those notes. You have made it to your destination. Ah. Uh, you hopped off the bus as you made your way to a beaten pathway that led to the entrance of the woods. The trees were like forest giants guarding your path home while you walked past them like a terrified little mouse. As much as you loved nature, everyone could agree that anything bigger than themselves is terrifying. As if the woods could sense your fear, the faint echoes of wildlife started to flutter around the trees along with a distant river flowing by, calming your nerves. Even the sun played a little game of hide-and-seek as you felt its warm light grazing upon your skin before vanishing into the shades. There was so much, yet so little happening around you, yet the tranquil-like peace could be felt in your soul. As odd of a place to be living in, it was better than living in the city where all the noises were cars and people arguing over the smallest of things. Besides, the city life didn't sound like your thing, and the only reason you go back there was because you had university, and all of your friends were there. If only they could have the time to hang out, but mostly these days, everyone is trying to make ends meet. <clears throat> Though as much as you loved your friends, living on campus with one was a horrifying experience. One time, you almost got mugged, and they pretty much ran off without you. Gee, thanks. Leaving you to deal with the thief. He felt so bad for you, he almost gave you his own stolen goods so you could feel better. That was a lie. He just ran off after the cops came. Your friends did come back and apologize, saying they were so scared they forgot to drag you with them. Your grandparents, on the other hand, were pretty much livid at the situation and gave you a more suitable place to stay. If it wasn't for them letting you live in their old cottage, you would have also had to deal with the living expenses of reality as well. Paying off your debt for your education took a lot out of your bank account, let alone only working at a gas station that paid you merely enough for groceries. You clapped your hands together before a single tear leaves your eye. Let me be a cat in another life. I don't want to do this anymore. No responsibilities. No school. Only meow meow. As you've gotten deeper into the woods, your mind started to wander. Don't do that, didn't we just talk about that? You had a weird dream today. Hmm. A hand reaching out, asking for your name. You didn't know why you gave it to him, whether out of curiosity or you wanted him to leave you alone if you gave in. Mostly out of curiosity. <laughs> but it felt like something important was being stripped away from you. Mm -mm. Maybe you were probably overthinking it. It was just a dream after all. Just, why were your dreams so vivid? It was like being in another world sometimes. But every time you woken up, there was always a feeling of something missing. You couldn't grasp onto why, but it was always a gut feeling that wouldn't leave no matter how much you ignored it. Maybe it was the wanting to explore the insides of your bizarre dreams more. You never really ventured any further than the place your dream spawned you in. Or perhaps you wanted something more from that dream. But what would that have been? Mm -hmm. Yes? Huh? Eh? Am I being perceived by an unknown entity? You clutched the side of your head, the pain being excruciating.
Your body as a whole started to tremble as you fell to your knees. It felt like static was clawing at your legs while your mouth was drying from breathing so heavily. As fast as the pain arrived, it immediately disappeared. Hmm. Taking a few more breaths, you pulled yourself back together, stumbling a bit as you tried to regain your balance. What was that? Hey! I saw that. I saw you, sir. Was I dreaming? Am I still in the dream, Leo? Hmm? Suddenly, your body collapsed as everything felt numb. Hmm. Are shenanigans afoot? W.D. Gaster? Wingdings on the screen? Hmm? Whom? <clears throat> I, I finally did it. Do you think anyone would listen to it? I'm sure they will. It sounds so amazing. I, I hope so. We all gotta start somewhere, and no worries. I'll be your first listener. You... you don't have to. I'm fine if it takes a while. It's not gonna blow up if no one sees it. I'll help you. <clears throat> don't overthink it, silly. That's what friends are for. To support each other when we can. Y yeah <laughs> Trust in yourself a little more. Don't let your thoughts say otherwise, either. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Eh? Poor editor me. She's gonna have to translate all this. Huh? You looked around, seeing nothing but an endless landscape of purple surrounding your vicinity. Those almost look like mimosa flowers. Mimosa, mimosa tree flowers, now that I know what that tree is called. Weren't you in the woods? What is this place? Where... where am I? You could feel panic starting to settle in, but was whiffed away by the calming smell of the flowers around you. The flower fields seemed to just stretch on and on no matter where you looked. As your eyes were sightseeing the strange place, your body began to move forward almost on its own. You couldn't tell if you should have been afraid or intrigued about your situation. It was as if your curiosity was brushing away any hint of fear that was calling out to you. As you kept walking, you saw a forest up ahead. Ooh. It was dark and empty, only the sounds of rustling leaves was heard. Walking over to the forest's edge, you could tell there wasn't a single sound of life inside. Mm -hmm. Though your gut was telling you otherwise. Mm -hmm. Should you get closer? Um. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go. Let's go into the dark forest of unknownness. You took a step forward, only to be greeted by a gush of wind blowing you back as you fell to the ground. <laughs> ah! Ow! My booty! Crap! You stood up as you dusted away the flower petals and grass that latched onto you and glared at the forest. How dare you? Oh, so you don't want me going in there. All right, got the hint. Leaving now. You turned around to basically run away, but hit yourself with something that wasn't there before. Ow! Oh dear. <laughs> My, I've found myself such a curious, silly cutie. Uh, oh, hi. <laughs> For a split second, I was like, where's my head? Oh, okay. You looked up to see a tall man floating above you with a squinted smile. His hair waved around like a lava lamp as his singular cheeky eye stares down at you. Is that a clown? Jester? You couldn't tell what he was exactly, but he was oddly very colorful. It was as if he was made from a children's book. My, you seem to be love strutty. <laughs> but I don't mind. You jump away from him as he backs off with his hands up. Sir, you float in my face. Cute. Very cute. Don't be alarmed. I ain't here to hurt ya. I came here to help. What? He glides in front of you as confetti trails behind him. Oh, 
I'm a dream waker. I'm here to make sure all your dreamy needs are met before you wake up. Hmm. He smiled even bigger as he jazzed his hands. I know you're up to some kind of shenanigans. Hmm. A, a what now? A dream waker. And you seem to need some fun. Have you been stressed? You look very stressed. <laughs> Confusion started to hit you like a brick, as now you're talking to a floating clown thing calling itself a dream waker. Mm. Whatever that meant. So, you're saying this is just a dream? Then where's Ginichimaru? Where are my four angel wings? Some dream this is. Why aren't I setting things on fire with my mind? <laughs> That's correct, sweetheart. And before you ask any more questions, you got a name? Mm -mm. Why should I tell you? I just met you. <laughs> that didn't stop you from uh, telling your name to a mysterious hand coming out at you. <laughs> oh, so you don't have it. What? No, I do have one. My name is... Uh-oh. My... My name is... Hmm. I don't remember. Is this because I said yes at the beginning? He chuckles and flips around to his back, not losing eye contact. Dream faker. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Editor to me, that changed really quickly. And it said dream faker. And then he said, why don't I give you mine? And then he changed it to why, why don't you want me to know that it's your name, Buster? Ah, so you lost your name. How sad. Why don't I give you one? Then that makes an adorable sweet like your mind, doesn't it? Unless you like being called other cute nicknames. Huh? Well, I mean, I'm particular to Dollface. <laughs> Did I really dream up such a weirdo? He stares excitedly, waiting for your answer. Sure, what, what name would you give me, my friend? You took a deep breath before answering him. For some reason, you felt uneasy from this decision. Did I mess up? Well then, can you give me one? Mm. Not even let me press the button. Before you could even finish, he lifts you up with a twirl, happily swaying you around like you weighed nothing. Ah! Put me down, sir! He chuckles at your reaction as he found it adorable. As he brings you down, his head touches yours as he looks into your eyes, giving you a gentle and happy smile. Huh? Luma. That's a pretty name. I like that name. But that's your name. Why are you giving me your name? As if that name was a chain, you felt your neck tighten as your feet touched the ground. Mm hmm And why is your name Wingdings now? Don't you know editor me in the future is going to have to translate that? Now that we solved our little issue, uh, there's even more wingdings. What mysterious messages are you are you doing, my friend? Let's go to a place more comforting to your mind. You looked at him, confused. What do you mean by that, sir? He picks you up and th throws you into the air. How dare? <laughs> or it's more like, how dare you? What the heck are you doing? <coughs> he only waves at you with a smile as you accelerated upwards into the night sky. As you were internally screaming curses, you curled into a ball as you felt your heart sink from gravity. <laughs> Feeling your body start to fall, you closed your eyes, bracing for a painful impact. Mm -hmm. But nothing happened. Now why are you sleeping on me? Open your eyes! Oh, It's so pretty. It's practical. Practically susical in here. And your wingdings name has wingdings changed! Ta-da! Hope you like it. I made it very comfy f just for you. <laughs> Everything was so 
soft and warm. This place felt so fluffy. You could almost feel all your worries and fear melt away at this very moment. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh. You look down to see a colorful pile of what seem to be fluffy cotton balls as they start jumping towards you. Oh. They began cuddling and snuggling your legs as some were even climbing up to greet you. Hey now, fellas. Guys, guys, guys! Quit it! No! I'm just covered in them at this point. Now, now, calm down, fellas! He floats down and gently guides the little fluffy creatures off you. Some tumble off, causing a fluffy scatter panic. Oh! Our guest might get overwhelmed, so be very polite, my friends! A symphony of sad little sighs could be heard as they all slowly hop away. Aww. Precious. One of them was almost rolling away in tears. I apologize for their excitement. It's been a long while since they've seen a new face around here. He clasps his hands together as he leans his head to the side with a smile. But you'll get used to them. What do you mean? What do you mean? Why does your wing- why does your wing ding's name keep changing? Oh, darling, I just remembered. I have a small little present for ya. He places a small pouch onto your hand as he floats to one of the fluffy creatures. My little snuffles love to entertain, so please, try grabbing something in the little pouch I gave ya. I'm... sorry? You looked at the pouch, then back to the snuffles, jumping and excitedly waiting. Go on, just a small pinch will do. With a sigh, you stuck your finger inside and pulled out a small miniature teapot. Huh. Oh, mini teapot. You walk over and kneel down to one of the snuffles and give it to them. They squeak happily, showing the other snuffles as it rolls around celebrating. Oh. You couldn't help but smile a bit at how cute they were acting. When when do those little things become nightmarish? Now I'd recommend backing away, my dear. What? Hmm? The snuffles start chanting, causing the little teapot you gave them to start growing bigger and bigger. Oh. Before you could even move on your own, you felt a ribbon wrap around your waist before you were pulled away. A little house! Oh! The teapot grew and grew until it was the size of a house and plops onto the ground. The teapot slowly contorts its shape to form some windows and a door. Oh! The spout of the pot puffed out glittery smoke as a fire could be heard inside crackling. A light flickers on as the door opened to see a small kitchen with baking tools floating around inside. The snuffles hopped around the teapot, cheering as while some started fixing up the teapot, making sure it was clean and ready for their new guest. Oh, the little tiny one with the little tiny broom! Haha, <laughs> that never gets old! You stared in amazement as words couldn't describe how you felt at that very moment. I would be like, it's so cute, I want to go inside it! <laughs> Just run into the thing going, hee 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 It's a full-on trap. Oh, my adorable Luma. I can't wait for you to play with us. He pats your head as the ribbon unfastens from your waist and twirls around back into his arm. Cool, that's basically like a tentacle. Though I do need to prepare some surprises for you. So, why don't you explore around? It might be small, but my little snuffles can help with that. You'll be surprised at what they can create. <laughs> you were about to say something, but he shushes you by placing his finger on your lips. I know, you'll miss me, but I'll be back before you know it, cutie. He boops your nose and vanishes as you were left dumbfounded. You touch your lips before wiping his touch away. What's with this guy? Not only did he fling you around like a yo-yo, but had the audacity to just leave without explaining anything. You're in a dream. You don't need to explain nothing. 
You felt a small tug on your ankle as the little snuffles were trying to gain your attention. Some began to hop to a direction, while others would push you to move your feet forward. Aww. Since this is a dream, might as well see what it had to offer, right? You followed the little puffballs, as there really wasn't any option at this point. Off to an adventure, I guess? Let's see if we can make clothes out of these trees and then create the economy. Oh. Heavy breathing could be heard as he clawed the walls of an endless void. <sighs> <sighs> Who's breathing this heavily? Is that my buddy? Is that my clown buddy? <laughs> oh, oh my, my dear. dear. I've, I've waited, waited for, for so, so long. long. You have you no have idea. idea. His heart was beating so loudly, it was like a drum was echoing throughout the empty realm. He touches his fingers as he remembered your soft lips. He wanted to so badly kiss it with his own to know how it felt. But he resisted his temptation, as it wouldn't have been a great impression. If he didn't leave at that very moment... His body started to pulse as his scars start to open slightly, as a sort of oozy tar starts to emerge. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the playground, playground of your new, of your home, new home, my dear. dear. A hole slowly opens from the darkness as he watches you from the abyss. Because this, this is, is only, only the, the beginning. beginning. Ah! Wood. Still wood. Oh no, he's all creepy looking, but he's still cute. <laughs> Hello. Thank you for playing the demo remake of Eternal Dreamscape. I'm sorry it took so long as I've been busy with my own life. That's very understandable. Always take breaks and take rests because making a game is hard. Please consider checking out myitch.io or Kofi for upcoming updates. Until then, see y'all soon. <coughs> Cute, adorable, um, what else can I do? <laughs> Uh, what if I tell this fool, no, you cannot have my name. Get out of here. <laughs> no? Hmm. Well, I am a stranger after all. So let's be friends. Meeting new faces means knowing new names. When you're ready, sweetheart, I'll give you mine. You'll give me your name? As in, literally? Because I believe... His name is Luma, so why are you heck-bent on calling me Luma? What does all that wingding stuff say? In the, In meantime, the meantime, I'll make, I'll make sure, sure your, dreams your dreams will be wonderfully, wonderfully savored. savored. Come, Come, I have so many, so things, many things planned for us. <laughs> A hand reaching out, asking for your name. You ignored its request, not knowing why it wanted your name, nor did you want to deal with it any more than you wanted. Even though it was asking so politely, you just felt like you shouldn't trust it. Mm-hmm. Should you get closer to the mysterious dream forest? No, I do not trust it. Perhaps it was for the better. You didn't know where you were, and getting lost wouldn't help your case right now. Wait, your phone. Maybe you can call somebody. You pat your pockets, searching for your phone, but nothing. Suddenly, you realize that you don't even have your backpack with you. You felt a panic and dumb for not remembering to check if you had your personal belongings with you. Why so jumpy, little bunny? Eh. Uh, give me a name or call me whatever. Call me whatever, dude. Because I haven't chosen that yet. <laughs> you could care less of what he calls you. More than anything, you basically just wanted to wake up now. This dream is so weird, nothing made any sense, and it was hurting your head. Call me whatever you want, just don't make it weird. As I said before, I will accept Dollface. His eyes glazed for a moment, before he floats back, crossing his arms while pouting. <laughs> now aren't you a tough cookie to crumble? He sighs loudly. Well, I guess Cutie is a good little name. Mm. 
I will accept this. He hovers closer to you, tapping his finger on your forehead. Mm hmm? Eh. Why'd you make that go by so fast? I'm assuming that said Luma? But I think this fits you better. Huh? Huh? You felt your body shiver. What did he... Now that we solved that little issue, let's go to a place more comforting to your mind. You looked at him, confused. What do you mean by that? <coughs> well, I think that's all I can do in this demo for right now. As always, there will be a link in the description so that you can follow this developer for yourself, in case there are any more updates. This game has two things I really, really like. It's got clown jesters and dream spirits. I think I have the game Knights to thank for that preference. But I'm very eager to see what shenanigans Luma is planning. Well, if you liked this video and would like to see more, be sure to hit the like button. And I said like like three times, didn't I? <laughs> That's overly redundant. But anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Take care of yourself. Have a great night. And remember, there is always hope.